Early voting started today on a referendum for Delphi schools. As Seth Conley reports, voters are heading to the polls to decide whether to invest $12.5 million to renovate Delphi junior and senior high schools. It was state of the art in 1970. The debate over the multi-million dollar renovation of Delphi's junior and senior highs is heating up. High school principal Barry Stone says the renovation is desperately needed. He says the school is still using the original heating and cooling systems from the 1970s. Last two weeks of school, um, our air conditioning system was down. um, And it takes a long time to get parts because the system's 40 years old. And the majority of the classrooms do not have windows that open. So we can't open them up and ventilate air. Stone says there is also a big problem with temperature control throughout the winter months. In the winter, it will be either super duper hot or extremely really cold to wear. Even a sweatshirt won't really help much. I had our custodian put duct tape on my windows because there was a draft that was coming in. Um, we've got the thick plastic, we've got the duct tape around. Stone says another big expense is upgrading the electrical system, which he says wasn't meant to provide the power to all of today's technology, ranging from projectors and computers to kitchen appliances for consumer and family science classes. We have added microwaves and, and things, but electrical power is still a problem. When she turns on a microwave, if the water heaters run at the same time, power goes out. She has to flip the breaker back on. Other renovations call for an overhaul to the science labs. Stone says the school was not built to easily repair things like the gas lines that run to the Bunsen burners. He says many parts of the labs have been without them for nearly 17 years. The gas doesn't work. The sink leaks doesn't work. Um, Nothing in here is functional as far as the lab. Despite the school board's promise not to raise taxes, many people still disagree with the huge price tag. That's quite a bit of money at one time to borrow for a tour. And I know the buildings need repair, but I'm, uh, I think it's quite a bit all at once. Still, Superintendent Ralph Walker says the referendum has been drastically scaled back from the original $21 million cost. He says now that material and construction costs are so low, now's the time to move on the project. South Conley, News Channel 18. Voting on the referendum takes place at St. Matthew's Lutheran Church at 1301 South Washington Street in Delphi on June 16th. The polls will be open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. that day. People were able to cast their votes early beginning today at the Carroll County Clerk's Office. Clerk Nancy Maddox says people must bring their photo ID to cast a ballot. Early voting continues tomorrow and next week on June 11th and 12th during normal business hours.